Hello guys, I'm back again and I want to welcome you to this new video. In this video I'm going to be doing something a little bit special. So I'm not going to be doing anything with any of these machines, but instead I'm going to do, be using this one. There we go. Now, as you probably guessed from the title, this is actually a brownie making machine. Um, it's got the ingredient dispensers up, up along the top here and the main arm kind of in the middle and the source point and blender down here okay so what i'm going to do now is show you guys a little bit about the different parts of the machine and, and what they're made from okay to begin with we've got the main the main arm here and as you can see this is an old food tin on here. This um, long white arm is uh, a row from an old shelving bracket. Um, uh, I'm not sure where that's from. The motor on here that moves it up and down. Um, that is a mirror ball motor, litter ball motor, whatever you call it. Um, now, move around a bit. This here actually the vibration motor, one of the vibration motors out of a PS1 controller and it vibrates vibrates the dispenser and, and the ingredients will come out as such. Okay. And let's move it around a bit. Um, this here, this is obviously a drill motor. Yeah, I can see it like that. Um, and the sides of these dispensers here are actually um, cut up bits of metal from an old dried milk tin. As you can, if I can tilt this one on its side, um, you can see, you can still see the things in there like that. Um, this is old kite string, the string that's used to move it up and down. It's the string from an old kite that we probably don't have anymore. Um, what else have we got? Um, this here, uh, yeah, that. These wheels are actually old pram wheels that have had their tyres removed, but they're not like it's pretty good for these, so we're gonna, I mean, like that, they're really good for like the mechanics, so they'll be nice and big. And this motor that moves the blender arm up and down, that is an old VCR motor. That's an old motor out of a VCR that mm, I think we're only take that and use them forwards, so I think that's where that came from. Mm, not sure we've got anything else. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully this is going to work. So, here we go. So that's the eggs in. And let's go up there.
So now that all the ingredients have been added, we're going to try and give them a little mix. Okay, so we have a mix of rubber. we're going to turn on. probably not the best that it's going to get. So. you're wondering, I did disconnect smoke alarm before filming this video. Okay, so what we're going to do now is put it into the oven. 
Uh, now I haven't exactly managed to build an oven onto this machine for the simple reason that it, it would be too big. But what I do have is this this little oven over here. And we're gonna put the tray into the oven. Right, okay, so that's the brownie cake pretty much done. Um, I don't like what I've done to it. As you can see, I've put a couple of smart ears and chocolate buttons on top of it as well. Um, I did actually feel myself putting them on with the crinkly bags and everything, but I seem to have unfortunately lost the footage. But anyway, um, yeah, well, that's pretty much the end of the video. Um, also, before I go, I want to make a shout out to Emma Whispers Red, whose birthday it was the other day. Um, Emma, I hope you like. I hope you had an awesome day. And if I could send these birthday brownies to you, then I would. But anyway, um, that's the end. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.